I guess you can always call upon the um, your guides. You can always ask. You can always put it out that when you're in darkness, if I feel like I'm lost, uh, I definitely ask for help. Mm. And if I'm confused, if I don't know which direction to go, what is it I need to do? Uh, I'm going through a tough time. Uh, it's confusing. And that's life. It happens to, to everybody. You just don't know what to do. Yeah. And uh, or you feel lost for some reason, yes, whatever that is. Mm. Uh, you are in this crossroad in your life yes. that you don't know what to do, you no. don't know which direction to go, no. and uh, or you're going through a tough time, or something has happened in your life. Um, yes. that happens quite often to everybody, and uh, you ask for help, yes, but um. I don't, for me, is I don't personalize it. Like, this is my guide, or um, because I, I, you know, it's as I mentioned, there, there was a time like uh, before I started the whole fifth dimensional quantum healing. Uh, in 2009, 2008, 2009, I was hearing these beings contacting me and they were whispering in my ears but i think maybe at that time that's what was the deal um for whatever reason which i don't know there's a lot i i don't know there's a lot i don't understand because this whole thing is really vast and beyond my understanding and I just feel like I, maybe I understand very little of it. But in this whole endeavor, um, there was a time that there, these guys, these beings, were continuously contacting me and whispering in my ear and identifying themselves as my fifth dimensional guides. Yeah. But I don't hear it in that way anymore. Yeah. Not in that intensity, not that... Uh, regularity. Do I hear the inner voice? Yes, I do. Does it identify itself as a being entity? Uh, no. So, and I don't think, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I don't really, it doesn't um, it can happen, it's fun. And if it doesn't happen, it's okay. Yes. Because we're all guided. Yes. Wow. I mean, beyond this being, this entity, what's above it? What's yes. Yes. running yes. That, that entity? And so I kind of like to uh, relate and go directly to the source, yes. to God. It's, it's, that, it's that which source. always is here, yes. yes. Exactly. That's what I thought yeah. too. Right. So. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're doing a good job. Yes. Yeah. And you know, there are people that <clears throat> not necessarily, uh, they're ego driven. Uh, I'm sure there are people who have this connection with this angel, this guy, uh, that they're in communication, they're hearing voices, they're communicating with this being that is identifying itself with a name. And uh, they're in constant contact. I'm sure there are people doing that too. And I'm sure there's a lot of bullshit out there too. A lot of blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, there's more bullshit out there than the real thing. So, in my own experiences, 
when I do shamanic healing, I do hardcore, some kind of shamanic work, I a lot of times feel the presence of this Native American uh, shaman, master. And a, a lot of times I've seen it in my vision and I can feel their presence. Like it's really a huge being. That particular flavor of this Native American being. And those of you who've been with me at the workshops or retreats felt it, felt it too. You've seen it. You can see like my voice changes, my face changes, uh, the whole vibe in the room changes. It turns to be something else and which is very different than ordinary Zarathustra. But then also I've felt the presence many, many times of my Sat Guru, Papaji has come in. I felt Ramana Maharshi coming. I felt Osho come in and teach. There is just like the, um, is it really that person? I don't know. But it's definitely the flavor of that person. That that what I've I've sensed, I feel the presence of that person. Also, I kind of feel like it's, things are trendy, um, channeling or uh, this kind of stuff is also very trendy. And uh, right now is a big trend that a lot of people are channeling, channeling different beings. Their voices changes, their looks changes. And I think, you know, again, I feel like some of them are real and some of them I think is ego-based. Some of them is an act. And some I'm very, I very much believe is real, but I really don't have a way to say, you know, I can't really tell if someone's, um, to a certain point, I can tell if they're acting or they're not acting, but I don't know, who am I to say? I really don't know. I don't know what goes on inside someone else or what is their connection to, to God or what type of entity comes through them and is channeling. When I lived in Abu Janya, I was at John of God. They said that John of God, I mean, he had 32 or 34 different entities would come and channel through him and do psychic surgery and, and uh, the work. Different saints, different uh, beings or doctors from the past uh, they would come through him and do the work. And uh, one time, uh, King Solomon came through John of God. And I remember that day because the whole casa, the entire place was really vibrating 